Happy New Year guys! First vlog of 2024. I don't actually know how long I can get away with saying Happy New Year until it starts to get a little bit awkward but I thought we would kick off the year with a vlog. Uh, I'm just getting back into a routine. I'm sure you are too. It's actually Thursday today. Thursday the... let me check because I still don't know what day of the week it is. Thursday the 4th of Jan um and i feel like today i definitely feel like i'm in a bit more of a routine i had a semi-productive day yesterday day before was awful I've got a meeting in about half an hour and i'm gonna go and make some breakfast so yeah i hope you enjoy this weekly vlog and i hope you're easing into the new year nicely as well are we in agreement that this is basically <laughs> January uniform is sweatpants and a hoodie. I'm actually going to put on my Adenola hoodie that I got for Christmas from my mum. I'm all about the cosy vibes at the minute, guys. This is my new Adenola sweatshirt. I'm obsessed with it. This is actually a size small and it's really oversized, but I love the colour. I'm just so cosy. Okay, breakfast. I eat this breakfast on repeat. It's either this or maybe like smashed avo. Uh, with poached eggs. I am a creature of habit. So, vegan protein powder. This one is from Bulk. It's chocolate peanut. If you're looking for a good vegan protein, I would really recommend this. I think it is 24 grams of protein per serving, which is really good. I mean, Tupperware Queen over here. We've got berries and I've started adding pumpkin seeds to the top of my porridge. It gives it like a nice bit of crunch and texture. Then we've got gluten-free oats, which is fine. It's better for my stomach and bloating. And then this peanut butter, which is actually elite. It's so big. This is 3 dollars I get it from Aldi. It is so nice. And guys, that is what my porridge looks like. Look at that. Meeting and get some more water. Also, really trying my best to drink my water. This I got from Amazon and it's not a Stanley, but it's a Stanley Cup doop. And it actually encourages me to drink so much water. So, mm. good morning, guys. I've been a terrible vlogger, but cut me some slack because I haven't actually vlogged in a while i'm a little bit rusty but it's the next morning i am gonna do my skincare with you and get ready for the gym with a coffee of course always start with this hyaluronic acid it's been a firm favorite of mine i actually need a top up i'm running really really low and i do this on damp skin just because the hyaluronic acid absorbs a little bit better how cute is my dressing gown guys it's so cozy and fluffy i actually just got it from primark but yeah i'm gonna go to the gym this morning i'm actually gonna film my workout for instagram uh so watch this space it's gonna be a leg day today i need a big bowl of porridge <laughs> Then we've got my Emma Hardy eye cream. I really, really like this one for mornings. What are your fitness goals, if you have any? I have a few. I really want to make 2024 my year too. I'm generally fit and healthy, but I just want to take it to the next level. But I don't know how I'm going to do that. I feel like I might have to mix up my workouts a little bit. Guys, I just want a really big dump truck. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. And I know some of you are going to say, well, you're not going to be able to fit into jeans. I don't care. <laughs> and then this is my moisturiser. I've got really sensitive skin, so I find this really, really good for me. After the gym as well, I am going for a facial, which I am so excited about. I feel like since having regular facials, my breakouts definitely are more controlled, especially around like my jaw and like my hormonal breakouts. I was breaking out consistently along this side and Roxy, my facialist, is amazing. So I will take you along with me for that. Uh, I think the last one I had was over four weeks ago. So yeah, nice little pamper after the gym. 
and not forgetting SPF, this one has become a firm favourite of mine. Two fingers, according to Caroline Hiram. I wear SPF all year round. I've been really consistent with it and I actually love this one because I have oily skin. So for my fellow oily skin gals, I feel like you're really, really gonna like this and it just sits so nicely under makeup. It's an oil control fluid. Um, so if they discontinue it, I am actually gonna cry. <laughs> But that is my morning skincare done. Oh, I'm just forgetting one little thing. Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. This is the absolute goat. And I always come back to it. I actually did a look fantastic order recently and treated myself. Right, guys, look at this. The satisfaction. That's actually probably quite a lot. This is a multi-purpose product, guys. You can use it for so many things. But I find that during the winter, my lips just get especially chapped and just end up looking like a cat's wrinkly bum. So this is a saviour, especially if you wear it before bed. Apparently, you can use it on your eyelashes. I sometimes use it on my calluses, on my hands, uh, because I'm a little gym girly and uh it really helps and also hand cream you can use it for so much even to slick back your hair if you like however every time i use this it reminds me of my best friend poppy because she's <laughs> she hates the smell you can get fragrance free she's like oh you smell like such a grandma Gemma. I'm like, <laughs> leave me alone with my grandma lip balm but i love it so if you actually haven't tried it that is a product i would really really recommend for you guys all year round i treated myself to a new active wear set as well and i really really want to wear it today to train legs so let's do a cringe transition why not so guys cheeky little transition this is my new active wear set from define look at the color i love it it's burgundy it's so nice these are quite short shorts but i love wearing shorts on leg day and then that is the back of the sports bra leg day is complete when i tell you my legs feel like jelly i actually filmed today's workout as well so i'll be posting that as a reel over on my instagram i would have filmed a bit more on here but i can't multitask <laughs> it's it's been a long week it's actually been a really short week but um yeah i've actually got here a protein shake from bulk uh, it is chocolate cookie. It's actually a new flavour that I bought recently. I bought chocolate cookie, vanilla and chocolate peanut, which is my absolute go-to. And for a vegan protein shake, it actually tastes amazing. It's, I think, oh, I might actually prefer it to chocolate peanut and that is a big statement because I love that. Um, so yeah, if you're after a new vegan protein, try the chocolate cookie one. It's so, so good. I actually had to cancel my facial. I had a last minute campaign come up for Monday and I needed to basically submit my content ideas to the brand, so I had to cancel that. Um, but I'm gonna go into Tooting Broadway now and I'm gonna go to Primark because I've got a voucher. So yeah, maybe a Primark haul coming up, who knows? Can I show you my active wear set? Yeah, I think I did a really cringy transition. I love this Adenola sweatshirt. I've literally been living in it. If it's still in stock, I'll link it. If not, I will link some alternatives for you because I think they actually bought the, the Adder one back in stock. But guys, leg day pump. Look at that. <laughs> I told you the aim is dumpy truck. Wow. Someone called the shine police. <laughs> I am home from the gym and it is pitch black. It's 5 p.m. And all I can say is I cannot wait for lighter evenings, but I did stop into Primark. They've actually got these new reusable bags, which are a little bit smaller and I'm here for them. I love it. Um, so I think I might actually do a separate haul, uh, but I got quite a few bits. I got some pajamas, some homeware stuff, a really nice mug, some of these like crate, things which i love to store like all my beauty products in but i will show you one thing that i got so you may have seen the viral pink and dark gray jumper i think it was a viral pink jumper that it sold out everywhere well i saw this so they basically brought it out in this gorgeous gray it's such 
a beautiful grey. It's this really lovely light grey. And I went for a medium. My pink one is in a medium. It is very oversized. Like, as you can see, it's a really oversized jumper. But I love wearing it with, like, little skirts underneath or leggings. Like, I'm going to be living in this this January. And then I got the darker grey one at the same time when I got the pink one. And I got that one in a small. And I just prefer the length. I prefer the length of the arms on me because I'm quite tall. And I feel like I've got literally, like, the longest limbs ever. I am so chuffed with that. They had a lot of sale stuff in there, so probably not the best time. And they started to have like Valentine's y kind of themed things come in, like pajamas and underwear. Guys, this actually makes me so sad. I don't want to take the decorations off and the tree down, but it's got to be done. I mean, this tree that we actually got from Pines and Needles is massive. I think it was a little bit too big in hindsight. But I just love the tree. This is the last time that I'm gonna be able to do this, so we're just we're just gonna do it one last time, okay? I think I'm gonna do a little time lapse. You guys have already taken down your decorations. I actually saw them in this little hamper thing. This little like wicker box. So guys, I got the cutest decoration from Harrods this year. Me and Poppy got the exact same. I think it has to be my favorite Christmas decoration of all time. The Christmas light trick. Get a wine bottle, any like alcohol bottle, and we're gonna wrap the lights around it. Trust me. I can't remember who I saw that off, but it really works and just stops your lights getting tangled. There we have it guys. It's like a little Christmas tree ornament in itself. Good morning guys, or should I say actually good afternoon. So it is Sunday today. I didn't vlog yesterday. I just had such a chilled day. I literally didn't leave the house. I edited part of this vlog in bed and I watched Money Heist, which I've been binging on Netflix. So I feel like today, I need to move my body a bit. I'm actually gonna head to the gym now. I'm just prepping my post-gym protein shake. By prepping, I mean literally just adding the protein powder into a shaker. I just add water at the gym. I did heatless curls last night and I just use my dressing gown tight and sometimes they go so ringlety and I've been brushing them out. I'm feeling really quite bloated today. My period is due in a couple of days and yeah i think i'm gonna have to wear this baggy jumper but these leggings are really really nice just got them on with my uh new balance gray trainers they've got like a little kind of scrunch bum um they are tala and they are so comfortable i've got the matching little long sleeved tight seamless jacket but yeah your girl needs to cover that today. This jumper Poppy got me for Christmas and I actually love it. I mean, you know that I am a die-hard Adenola fan. I've got so many, I've got two sweatshirts now and maybe about four hoodies, but I just love them. But I really like that this is like distressed. I've not seen anything like that before. Anyways, I am just chatting on this now. My new favorite vegan protein powder. I think I told you about this uh, when I was in the gym the other day. It's chocolate cookies. I did just order a small, I don't actually know how big this is. This is one kg. Usually I get the 2.5 uh, kg packets, but I didn't know if I was gonna like it. And I'm definitely gonna be reordering this because it's so good. So yeah, just one heaped scoop. That will be my post gym source of protein obviously i'll come home and eat i need to pop to the supermarket as well so it just you know time me over what a journey i have had to get to the gym so i wasn't paying attention i thought i saw the bus that i needed to get on to get me to the gym but i was editing my instagram post for tonight and i'm, I'm sure honestly i do not know how this happened but i am sure that i saw the bus coming and that is the bus that i got on and 
literally sat down editing my Instagram post and then I look up and I'm like, I'm not going the right way. So it took me all around the houses and had to get off the bus, get on another bus, but now I'm here. It's also so cold, honestly. The weather has really shifted. The temperature has massively dropped. So I've got my big puffer coat back out. This one's actually from Superdry, guys. If you are looking for a warm puffer coat, you need this one. I think it's still in stock. I actually size up to a 10 in this one. It's got a hood as well, um, which is perfect because I don't like to carry an umbrella. I am back from the gym. Didn't have a very good session, if I'm honest, but tomorrow is a new day. Um, I am just having dinner. I actually had this for dinner yesterday and it was really, really tasty. You can just get it in Tesco, like super healthy, really high in protein. Um, I definitely will be getting it again. So it's this like brilliant broth chicken ramen thing uh, from Itsu. I had this yesterday, it actually serves two. And then I got these flat noodles as well. That is what they look like. I actually saw yesterday that half a pack of these is 12.4 grams of protein, which is insane. Um, so I've just got some chicken here, which I cooked yesterday. And then cooked the noodles and I've got some peas in here as well so I'm just gonna literally add to a bowl and then this is very hot as you can see this is the brilliant broth chicken ramen I think they do like a veggie one as well uh, they had a few uh, it's low in sugar it's basically like water chicken stock uh, salt chicken fat water lemon juice uh loads of other bits in there so i'm just going to add that to the top like that so it's like swimming in it um and then i've also got some grated carrot this is literally like a plate up dinner with me uh and an egg but i feel like the egg might be a little bit runny <laughs> If I drop this, I feel like I need some kind of garnish. It does actually tell you what to garnish it with, but wait, where was it? It has some ideas on the back. Uh, don't have pak choy, don't have peppers, sesame seeds, I don't have those, or seaweed. Just gonna add some of this on top and then I will show you. But yeah, like I said, I had this yesterday and it was delicious. I'd actually pay good money for this. It was that good. Um, so, is my dinner i'll show you from above because you probably can't see that <laughs> super nutritious if you're on a little bit of a health kick this january i mean look at those eggs they actually look delicious so yeah that is my dinner tonight good afternoon guys happy monday i am actually just heading out now i am going to have laser hair removal hot girl summer pending i'm not sure how many details i can actually say because i'm actually filming a reel as part of a collaboration i'm off to have laser hair removal on my legs i am so excited because i've wanted it done for the longest time but guys it's actually trying to snow outside so yes i think i'm gonna freeze and i think this hood it's going to be necessary it's so windy i'm literally looking out the window now and i just do not want to go out i'll update you when i get back <laughs> i'll update you when i get back uh i'm wearing a really cozy tracksuit i think you have to have uh non-tight clothing on your legs anyway and any excuse to wear a uh, tracksuit i mean you know I love Adenola. Fingers crossed it's not painful. If any of you guys have actually had laser hair removal on your legs, let me know in the comments how you got on. Did it last? Do you think it's worth it? Obviously, I'm going to have to have a few treatments. Um, but yeah, let's go. Out in the snow. <laughs> guys, it's actually snowing. Look. Ah! I don't know why this makes me so happy. Because um, it's actually freezing. And look at me. I feel like we never get snow, so it's such a novelty, isn't it? And I cannot believe that I am on my way to go get laser hair removal on my legs thinking about summer when it is snowing. Like, the irony is just too much. <laughs> I am home now. I have had such a day, honestly. I need to fill you in on that in a second. I popped into a supermarket on my way home just to get some top-ups. Ended up spending over £40. You know what I would like to happen in 2024? inflation to go down 
when it comes to the supermarket like why is food so expensive i genuinely cannot deal my food shops are noticeably so much more expensive now and it's like we're just out here trying to live have a good life catch a break but I like seeing grocery shops uh, and this isn't actually a full week shop this was meant to just be like little top ups um, but yeah <laughs> 40 pounds later this is what I picked up love these to be honest these are actually really reasonable I'm really lazy when it comes to rice so I just whack that in the microwave got some peas oh my god guys these vegan baby bells are actually elite and I don't see them very often so when I do <laughs> I picked up two packets sweet potato i got some parmesan because i'm actually thinking of making a vodka pasta tonight this sourdough loaf i actually usually get the rye but they were out but this one's actually really really good this is from lidl by the way gluten-free oats for my porridge we've got some blueberries raspberries uh oatly double cream to put in my vodka pasta uh these eggs are really really good especially for poached eggs uh, rigatoni for my vodka pasta and tomato puree for my vodka pasta guys easter has sprung already these i have never seen before and also i mean that is actually the most elite chocolate bar to ever exist but this is a new one which i have never seen before so i'll let you know how that is uh, avocado also you may have seen my 2024 ins and outs post on instagram and i said that i'm not going to be drinking oatly anymore well i'm going to try my hardest not to drink oatly i'm not going to buy any oatly from the supermarket i'm not actually sure what i'm going to do when i get takeaway coffee i haven't quite decided because a lot of you guys actually asked me on instagram like what like why are you not drinking oat milk it's got loads of inflammatory oils in it it's just full of shit it's actually excuse my french not good for you so a 2024 out is oatly unfortunately i was finding that when i'm having two milky coffees a day with oat milk or oatly i was getting such a crash and i was just like what is going on so i did a little bit of research and oatly is not good so i have actually been drinking just normal plenish milk which is gluten-free oats as well so that's perfect because i have gluten-free oats in my porridge but i actually saw this plenish barista uh, milk today in tesco and it's water gluten-free oats coconut cream and salt I think the coconut cream is actually what makes it like frothy because i was finding that when i'm putting the normal plenish in my milk frother it's just not going very frothy but this was two pounds 40 guys i mean that's daylight robbery <laughs> And then I just got this uh, Greek yogurt and then these are my protein sources. So we've got chicken, sausages, salmon and chicken breast mini fillets. So I need to update you on laser hair removal situation. Obviously I spoke to you earlier and said I was going to have laser hair removal on my legs. I was so excited. I've wanted it done for the longest time. I wouldn't even say I'm not a very hairy person but I just hate having to shave my legs like you know it's like changing your bed sheets it actually doesn't take that long but in your mind you build it up so much that you don't want to do it and then when you do it you're like oh that actually wasn't so bad but it just seems like such a chore anyways i scrubbed off my tan three days ago said you have to exfoliate uh, minimum three days before your appointment so as per the guidelines scrubbed off all my fake tan like when i tell you look <laughs> I'm actually the same colour as my wardrobes. Like, guys, look, I mean, this is Gemma and this is Gemma. Like, I am two people. I have not seen sun. Look at that. I'm actually Casper the Friendly Ghost. To the human eye, <laughs> there is not a scrap of tan on my body. I got there and spoke to the, the therapist who was going to do my laser hair removal, who was absolutely absolutely lovely by the way it was the therapy in clapham junction uh well the one like really close to northcote road so speaking to her and she said yeah really like you're not going to be able to fake tan um in between your appointments because you have to make sure that there's not any fake tan on your body because the laser can pick up the pigment and it can actually cause burning on your skin now if any of you know me 
am fake tan whore. I am an avid tanner. I tan at least once a week. Um, and I can't walk around this pale. I know I might sound utterly ridiculous but it's part of my personality now and I'd rather have hairy legs than not be able to tan that might sound really stupid to some of you it makes complete logical sense to me the therapist said look i'm gonna use an alcohol wipe on your legs it doesn't look like you've got any tan on but if any does come off with the alcohol wipe and i was 100 percent confident nothing was going to come off like physically on my legs i couldn't see any tan and she wiped like my legs a couple of times with the alcohol wipe and there was tan coming up on the wipe she said i'm really sorry but i can't i can't do this for you i think unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to have laser hair removal on my legs because yeah i just can't imagine a life where i don't tan and if I, if that makes me sound ridiculous that makes me sound ridiculous but you know what like it, it's, it's part of who i am now and I'm a better version of myself with a tan. Um, so I'm gonna fake tan tonight. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to have an update for you guys, but yeah, uh, laser hair removal is not happening, unfortunately, but it's fine. It is what it is. Good afternoon, guys. So it's a couple of days later. We just have to accept that I am a terrible <laughs> vlogger, but I'm easing back into it. Uh, I met Poppy for a coffee this morning, nice and early. I went to Brickwood, which is nice. And then I went to the gym. I trained back and a little bit of biceps. And, and I'm actually feeling quite tired now, but I'm gonna make some food. I did have a protein shake on the way home, uh, but I'm gonna actually not make some food. I'm gonna heat over some leftovers from last night. I'll show you that and then i've got to head out because i'm gonna go to the h&m showroom hopefully pick some pieces so i'll bring you along with me for that i actually haven't been to the h&m showroom for like maybe even two years it's in oxford street and then i have my first orthodontist appointment uh, at 20 past five um, of 2024 so I don't know what they're going to do. My teeth are probably going to hurt after. Uh, but guys, I cannot express to you how, I mean, I'm sure you know how cold it is. It has turned so cold. On my BBC weather app, it says it was one degrees, but it actually feels like minus three. And I just can't get warm. I really can't. So I have to say, I am loving this sweatshirt from Abercrombie. Fun fact about me, I was actually a little bit of a tomboy when I was younger. My dad used to do banger racing at Wimbledon. There's like a racetrack there and literally the cars just go round and round and round and basically crash into each other. And at Christmas, actually, my dad was like, oh, I saw that on your story and I really liked it. I was like, oh my God, bless. From Evolve Organic Beauty. Let's see inside i i hate these little like curly things oh this packaging is really nice it's very i'll show you uh clean so this is what was inside the box we have oh a super berry body oil that sounds nice for scars and stretch marks with organic rose hip upcycled raspberry and pomegranate oils that sounds lush. Oh, I love the bottles. Look at those. We also have a cleansing oil. Oh my goodness. All these ingredients sound amazing. A nourishing facial cleanser with olive squalene, indigo and organic wild watermelon. Wow. What else have we got? A pro ectoin soothing cream. Uh, for sensitive skin, comforting moisturiser with ec ectoin, maybe I'm not saying that right, ectoin, ectoin, Ch <laughs> oh my god, chaga, chaga mushroom and hyaluronic acid, I'm probably giving you guys the ick with the pronunciation of this, a hyaluronic serum, love that, a hyaluronic eye complex, hmm, let's have a look, see what this looks like, my stomach is actually rumbling, very nice and lastly oh a bio retinol glossy lip oil lightly tinted lip treatment with i can't pronounce any of these 
Kalari melon oil and hyaluronic acid. I love a lip oil. I mean, I need it because this weather is literally making my lips look like wrinkly cat's bottom. That looks so nice. Look at that. So I'm really excited to try those. I need to recycle those bits. Let me know if you've actually tried Evolve Organic Beauty before. Look how cute my little packed lunch box is. I bought these from Primark and they are actually adorable. So this is what I cooked last night and i'm gonna have it with this packet rice which i just buy from aldi it's the classic basmati rice i'm being really lazy so yeah i'm just gonna bung this all in the microwave bish bash bosh my dinner last night we got fillet of salmon there i cooked it in lemon salt pepper garlic and then there's just some tender stem broccoli I feel like I'm being a healthy queen. So guys, I am at the H&M showroom. It's so beautiful in here. They have so many nice pieces. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour. So here we've got some H&M studio collection. Apparently this dress was the one that Suki Waterhouse wore. It's so nice. And then we've got some really lovely colors coming in for spring. I love this trench coat. This is very cute here and loving these neutrals. And also we've still got some sparkles and metallics from the party season. Um, everything is just so nice. This little section here, I've picked some pieces off of here as well. Look at this, all H&M home stuff. And I was actually just told that this dress here was the one worn by Kendall Jenner. So I think I'm just going to have to try it on for fun. <laughs> here are a few pieces that I'm going to try on. Also, guys, look at these heels. I feel like they're such a good dupe for the Centre Run one. So I can't wait to try those. And before I get changed, this is my very cold, wintry outfit of the day. Uh, this jumper is is actually H&M bag is Primark it's like a bigger version of the Uniqlo one and this puffer jacket is just honestly keeping me so warm right now it's super dry so I'll link it and then these black jeans made well and then I've got my Adidas special trainers okay guys this is the dress that Kendall Jenner wore I mean I feel like a real life <gasps> not as dignified as Kendall Jenner but I feel like a real life Barbie in this wow that's gone really bright it is insane like guys look it's giving sugar plum fairy but it's good enough Kendall Jenner it's good enough for me actually look at this outfit I cannot deal this blazer is from H&M studio don't mind the dress just there it's honestly amazing it's giving such designer premium feel i mean it is very oversized but i low-key love that and then i've picked up i don't know if you can see these faux leather trousers they're like slightly i think they're faux leather they might actually be leather they've got that darting going down the front look at these boots guys they're actually epic like look this whole outfit let me move is such a vibe i've never been a faux leather trench kind of gal um i always thought it made me or would make me look a little bit like someone from the matrix but this one is so nice like i just love this whole outfit feels really premium and i also love these buttons this is giving and with these boots absolute vibe i've got another amazing blazer h and are just giving with the blazers at the minute can you see the texture of that i really like the slightly exaggerated shoulders i think this actually might be a size medium and it's got this tie waist detail and then you can undo it it's got a button here but i really like it open as well so nice honestly guys i feel like christmas has come early <laughs> look at these bags as well they are so cute is it like for valentine's day i'm not sure i am midway through editing this vlog and i realized i haven't closed it off the last time i spoke to you was 
after the H&M showroom appointment, I was going to the orthodontist, went to the orthodontist and I can't lie, I have been in agony. Like the day after, I couldn't even brush my teeth without wincing in pain with my electric toothbrush and my teeth have just been really sensitive. Actually, probably the most sensitive since I've had my braces on. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog, the first one of 2024. I really want to continue with posting more vlogs on my channel. I would absolutely love to know what content you want to see from me this year as well. Obviously, I'll still be posting like the hauls and everything. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.